Nitrogen, very, very unreactive. Okay? This is because of the nitrogen-nitrogen triple bond. We can get the nitrogen to react with, say, the oxygen in the air, but we need to supply a lot of energy. And this is what this apparatus can do here. So in a thunderstorm, all the energy from the lightning can actually cause the oxygen and nitrogen to combine together. And this is what we have here. This is called a Jacob's Ladder. Now, across the two metal rods here, at around 7,500 volts of energy. And this can enable the nitrogen to combine with the oxygen. Well, how would we know, though, if the nitrogen is combined with the oxygen? Well, we should be able to see a change in the colour. First of all, the nitrogen combines with the oxygen to form a gas called nitrogen monoxide. But this is colourless. The gas jar here, I've put a white card in this to help us see it, but the gas jar contains nitrogen monoxide. Now, this gas jar just contains air, but when the nitrogen monoxide reacts with more oxygen, so nitrogen monoxide plus more oxygen, forms another gas called nitrogen dioxide, and this is actually a brown colour. As soon as the two gases mix, the brown colour is formed due to the nitrogen dioxide. So if we keep an eye on the air inside this glass tube here, this will gradually go brown as the energy from the, uh, uh, across these two electrodes helps the nitrogen combine with the oxygen. But in order to break up our nitrogen molecule, we need a lot of energy. Well, this apparatus here, and remember this is what I said every mad scientist needs, um, this is a special...